Hi, my name is Louise Thompson and I'm part of the infant feeding team at City Hospital. If your baby um, comes to the neonatal unit at City, we have got breast pumps available that we can loan to you for the time that the baby's on the neonatal unit to help you establish and provide a milk supply for your baby. The breast pumps come in boxes like this. And in the box, there's a cool bag with your little breast pump in it and the breast pump should be labelled to say that it's been cleaned and it's ready to use. So you've got the breast pump and the lead there. We have got some ice blocks available or if you've got some at home that you can use that's fine as well so when you're coming into hospital and bringing your milk in bring your milk in a cool bag like this with an ice block this isn't frozen at the moment but obviously pop it in the freezer freeze it and then put your bottles of milk in the bag to bring it into hospital so this is your breast pump these are just small breast pumps that we loan out to parents we've got hospital grade stronger breast pumps to use on the unit so while you're on the neonatal unit use the hospital grade pumps when you're at home or out and about you can use these breast pumps you can plug the pump into an electricity supply or you can put batteries in as well so switch the pump on and you can see the light comes on sometimes a little orangey light will come up here as well that's not a problem as long as the pump's working it just means the pump has been used a certain number of times. You'll have two kits in your box so that you can double pump, which means expressing from both breasts at the same time. With these little pumps, there's only one hole here. So to double pump, put that into there, pull the end off this other hole, pull the tubing off this pump, and pop it on. So there you go, so you've got two kits there attached to the same pump, so you can double pump. And we've got bottles in here. So use a new bottle each time you express. That's a 100ml bottle. And we've also got the 50ml bottle. So take the lids off. And screw the bottles on. All your equipment should be clean and sterilised before you use it and remember to wash your hands before and after expressing. So I'm all set up, I've got my pumps ready and then I'm going to turn the pump on and then when we start off the breast pump, we start it off like a baby starts when they, they first go on the breast and they feed. So when babies first go to the breast, they suck really fast and that's to encourage your milk to let down. So around about day three, your milk will come in and, um, and so you want to turn the pump off so that um, it encourages that milk to flow. So we're going to turn the vacuum up to where it starts to feel a little bit uncomfortable. So you'll put the pump onto your breasts, central the centralise the nipple in the middle so it's not rubbing on the side or anything. So pop the pump onto the breast, both breasts, and then turn the vacuum up to where it feels uncomfortable and then turn it back again. So you want the maximum amount of suction, but you shouldn't be making yourself sore and uncomfortable. And then with the cycle, so that's your vacuum and that's how hard it's sucking. And then the cycles is how fast it's sucking. So like I said, babies, when they first feed, they suck quite fast and then the sucking slows down. So we'll start off with this rapid sucking and then as the milk starts to flow, then you can turn the cycle down a little bit slower. But with these pumps, it's about finding what suits you. So just have a fiddle around with it, 
make sure as long as it's comfortable it's fine and then um and see how you get on and any problems speak to us from the feeding team so it's breast so stay on the breast pump until the milk stops flowing and then when the milk stops flowing turn the pump off and remove your bottle which will have milk in it by then pop the lid on and you could do this before or you can do it after you've expressed you want to get your baby's label and write the date and the time just in pen on the label pop the label on the bottle with the date and time on there so store it in the back of the fridge until you're ready to come into hospital and then when you come into hospital bring all your bottles of milk in the cool bag like we said with the cool block in there and give it to the nurse straight away who will put it in the fridge.